for today's cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Are you ready for another week? Did you get rested up over the weekend? Absolutely not. I didn't either. <laughs> Who did? Did anyone? I don't know that anybody is resting well these days for multiple reasons. Isn't he d- sleep? Yeah. And naps do not work when your soul is tired. <laughs> no, that, that is true. That is true, and I think that that's what a lot of it is. It is a on a, it's a fatigue. It's a world weariness. We don't know what levels of consciousness we're on right no, now. No, that's bleeding through. Yeah, not even bleeding through. What we are in, like right. what our other dimensions, other levels, is our consciousness hooked up to? There's all kinds of weirdness afoot. It's, it is high strange. It is, you know, high fuckery. Mm-hmm. It's like you were asking about dream interpretation earlier today. And it there are many ways as far as interpreting dreams that have been done. And it depends. <laughs> There's so many. You might as well ask how many different diets are out there. Because you've got Someone different, that's accurate. different schools, different. Well, the most accurate way that I have ever that I ever learned to do dream interpretation. First of all, you have to write the dream down upon waking. Who's got the Who's got the consciousness just when waking you, you to can go do to that. the thing and be like, or, or keyboard it, or whatever, you know? Uh huh. Because that's how you're going to remember before the brain processes a lot of it away. you got to realize that while you're dreaming, a lot of the rational parts of your brain is, they're not operative at that point. So yeah, even no, as I've you... i sent texts half asleep before and it's like, hmm, can't come to, can't come to beauty school. Got so-and-so got their hands stuck to a piece of paper with glue. Did you really do that? Dead ass. Okay. Anyhow. (laughs) But this is one of those, so you let go of it making sense. Just just report the incident. Mm -hmm. You know, that is where I saw this, 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 and this. And, And this is where you have to prepare yourself to keep a dream journal or a dream log. Yeah. Yeah. Keep that book. Next to you. Mm-hmm. Or notepad. Something like that. And like I said, where people keyboard anymore, you know, whatever works. But yeah, just yeah, yeah. ignore the fact. And, and this this is to come to that um, happy the, uh, medium the happy between medium. the rational brain and the dream brain and, and to just... If you prepare yourself beforehand, it's like to, to know that it's not going to make sense. Don't allow the rational brain to kick in before that dream brain totally goes away that is just describing events. What if that dream brain, to an extent, is us having access to the actual world in some way, wherever our other body is stored? Well, I think that that's there. There's a lot of different interpretations as far as, uh, you know, where where do we go when we sleep? This girl looked through this facility or whatever. She had this dream. Actually, right. hold up, I did find it on TikTok. Do you want me to play it? No, no. Just you can you if you want to give a link and stuff like that. But just you can describe. Uh, you know, there there are things that people think it's a matter of astral projection. Well, she saw people that were like catatonic and they're like, oh, they're asleep, but something's going off. Something's going wrong with them. So it's like they're kind of just waiting to be processed. Right. Processed for what? Right. And why don't... What was that place? Right. And it's one of those... And there was these military people, and they, but they weren't American. They weren't world military. Right. Not human? Is that what you're saying? Like, they look like people. They look like people. There's people that think that they go across dimensions. There's people that think it's a form of remote viewing. 
there's lucid dreaming. <clears throat> so within that, there could be many things. Could be, could be. Sometimes you can have visions that appear to be, or they could be prophetic dreams or God talking to you during a dream state and different things like that. That is true. And she did mention that in there too. And this, mm-hmm. she's like, what, what's, then what's what? Right. What is what? <laughs> But the important thing on that is first get the information down. Then you can go back and dissect it. Okay. Okay. And and look for the significance. Is there a main theme to that? Apparently, for her, it was a main theme that she was part of some kind of scientific, you know, experiment someplace. Someplace. But she was like an active like lucid dreamer right like really active like she could control her dreams she has made people like just pop up all of a sudden like be like yeah no you ain't supposed to be here but as soon as she says yeah i'm dreaming stuff glitches out right yeah it does weird stuff and someone pops in and be like yeah you're not you ain't doing right right And, and this is one person's reporting of events within their life that we we can't validate or verify. We're not discounting, but you can't validate or verify it right now. Right. Well, I just got got her <laughs> word. You know, how do you validate something that happened in another dimension? Right. Sarah James is her name. Okay. Is her name? Oh, we'll try. I'll try to. Did you subscribe to her or something? And I can put it. On no, but I did the... like the video. And put it in my favorites. Okay, well then, hopefully it'll still be there by the time that we get this uploaded, where we can put it in the description box. Hopefully, but are you sure you don't want me, want me to play some of it? Yeah, it's somebody else's work. I, f- I don't feel comfortable with that on that. Well, as long as you're giving them credit, you know, it's all right. So, but it, all right. But it's more about your experiences and the dream experiences and. What spurred a lot of this thought was listening to Jimmy Aiken, and he has a, and we'll put this in the description box also, a brilliantly done, all of his stuff is so well prepared, well researched, Mm -hmm. Uh, he's very easy to listen to, but he had a um, podcast about sleep. He did. And he it's did. wonderful. Mm-hmm. And and there's no way, uh, other than hitting the high points, I'm not going to go and do the amount of research and why I would have, because he's already done it. Right. How? Wh- why not just give somebody just the link? Just get the high points. We ain't, the, we ain't his show. They don't know why we sleep. All this amount of time, and they still don't know why we sleep. Living things, even bugs, sleep. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not really sure why. But if you don't sleep for a period of time, you die. Well, it's like an energy thing, I think. Along with, you got other business to handle in other dimensions. So it's like, come on. Come on. You're doing this or I got messages for you. Yeah. We don't know. They don't know. The, the, The big brains, they don't know. Yeah. They don't know. But he was talking about, and I had known this for a long time, modern society is totally going against human nature. It is. The invention of electricity and lights, and now we've got the screens and and work schedules and these people that want to screw with the clock systems and everything like that is going against people. I think it is. I don't think it's set up to be like exactly cohesive with everybody's schedule mm-hmm. because everybody has different schedules. Mm-hmm. Not everybody's designed to run on the same time frame. Right. And this current world that we are living in doesn't. What's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't work with them. It works against them. Yeah. 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 And whoever designed these things. And he was discussing as far as, uh, on, he, he discussed on an evolutionary basis, people to sleep eight hours straight is a very difficult thing to do. Mm-hmm. And that people, that's a relatively modern thing to try to impose upon people 
that they have to sleep eight hours. They have to sleep eight hours, and they have to go to bed at a certain time, all that. And and that if they don't sleep those eight hours, then something's wrong. Yeah. Yeah, the something is wrong are these supposed experts. Mm-hmm. Like they say, oh, you need to go go to bed at either 9 or 10, 10 p.m. 9 or 10 p.m. Latest 12. Yeah, no, no. People staying up till 4 in the morning, then they go to sleep, and then they wake up later in the day, and they do stuff. Well, especially your age group. And he was what he was talking about, teenagers, young adults. That has to do with their circadian rhythm. Mm -hmm. And so I think that a lot of things need to be reexamined and, uh, you know, schedules redone to help accommodate people. Mm -hmm. But I had known this. They've known this as far as the circadian rhythm of young people, especially teenagers and stuff. I mean, there was the thing. They've known this for years. Yeah, they did. I mean, there was the thing about the two sleeps. Two the, sleeps. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was something that he was talking about. Um, people, it's not uncommon that people used to work with their bodies instead of against them, that they would sleep for about four hours, wake up, be up for an hour or two, go back for second sleep, sleep for about four more hours. Mm-hmm. See, I want to go back to that. Mm-hmm. Why can't we go back to that? You can. I've been doing it for years. You know, of not course, I'm not that. working public job now either. Right. Not and nobody else is doing that. As far as, you know, being able to nap, that it's common for people uh, in midday to need a nap. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter what they eat, it's their body's circadian rhythm. Now, for some of us, it's a little more, it's not a luxury, it's a have to. It is. Body sort of can cut out after a period of time. Yeah. When you push your body for so long, for so many years, and and it's like, there's, yeah, there comes a day of reckoning. Well, that's what they've been trying to do for over 100 years now at this point. Probably. Probably. If not more than that. And for years, you know, when I when I worked down at the jail and working night shift, 12-hour night shift, walking stairs the whole time, you know, uh, at least two rounds an hour and then everything else that we had to do, trying to sleep in the day, that was fun. I had, had a father who was massively unwell, so I couldn't <clears throat> turn the, the telephone off in case there was a medical emergency. No, you couldn't. So for a long time, for over three years, I was dealing on a huge sleep deficit. Mm-hmm. Trying to get maybe four hours a day. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, then, and then stress levels and stuff like that, and that will mess you up. Mm-hmm. It will. It definitely will. And he was explaining also as far as lack of quality sleep and how it screws with the hormones in people's bodies. And one of the signs of somebody that has poor sleep quality is diabetes. Uh, Not diabetes, I'm sorry, obesity. And then the obesity can lead to diabetes. Yeah. And then you've got people blaming people. It's like, oh, you're fine. You're sitting around. It. Oh, it's, fuck you. It's like, no. Just try to let my body catch up to sleep. And so it's it becomes this downward spiral. Mm-hmm. And, and because that people are people, and, and a lot of times they talk out of their ass about other people that they have no idea of what is going on in the world. And I'm wondering... As far as a lot of the obesity, because they, they were talking about there was a huge number of people that are sleep deficit people. Mm-hmm. They are. And that there That's is a strong, America. yeah, strong correlation Look at with a lot of the health problems that we have. Does, does Japan have a problem with sleep deficit? Yeah. I mean, they're falling asleep at their desks and such God like that. Mm-mm-mm. But they don't have the problem with obesity. 
That's true. That but that true. could have to do with different ethnicities. Because there are differences. Now that McDonald's is over there, Western food has invaded their area. Oh, we know that that a lot of the fake food is not good for us. It yeah. may be tasty, but that doesn't mean it's nourishing our bodies. No. I mean, I'm not saying like that you shouldn't though. ever have McDonald's. But if that's all that you're consuming, you really need to rethink that. Taco Bell, Wendy's. <laughs> Let's Arby's. face it, these things are not going it's to high. have the highest quality ingredients. I, I, don't, I don't know. Pizza, pizza, you pizza know plus that it is doesn't. pretty good. He's joking. That, uh, the, he is joking. Domino's, Little Caesars. Now, Little Caesars, now that's card, that's trash, but it's delicious <laughs> trash. <laughs> you put enough I'll MSG in it and day. you can eat dog food. Huh? You put enough MSG in it and you can eat dog food. Exactly. So right, and then it that's what the they do with Chinese food brain. over here. Americanized Chinese. Food. Well, uh, MSG Chinese. and it, it's a matter because that is a soybean byproduct and stuff as far as a flavor enhancer. It's delicious. But for some people, they can be highly allergic to that. Mm-hmm. But that's what I. But that's what was missing from my Chinese food. It was okay. that MSG. Because I, he, when I when I fix Asian food here, I don't use MSG. No, you don't. But you make it in a way that it's good. Well, you know, I made it in a way that it was good, but it was still missing missing something that needed the MSG. Well, that's what your brother said, and I think it just sort of set you up to believe that that's what it was. Yeah, <laughs> you're totally, totally derailing as far as sleep. Sleep. Well, no, that goes right into it. Because if, like, people say, like, food, you can't eat past a certain time. Well. Or whatever. Because that can mess up your circadian rhythm. That can mess with your sleep. Mess with your digestive system. Whatever. Well, it's like this. If you if you have problems with acid reflux or whatever, it is probably not a good idea to load up on jalapenos or something like that prior, a half hour prior to going to sleep. Mm-hmm. Now, that's a little bit of common sense, which ain't so common anymore. You cannot tell me no one has ever just, like, ate, ate a piece of candy right before they went to bed or, like, ate a small thing of mac and cheese and then immediately oh, that's went not, to bed. That's totally different than loading up with, um, as far as spicy things. That's, that's just a rough morning. <laughs> just a rough morning right there. But... Th- different but would things. I eat Taco Bell before I went to bed, like a full box? Heck yeah. And how did you sleep then when you did that? I don't know. I haven't done that in a right. long time. Right. But a lot of times we're doing things that are totally against human nature. Yeah. Totally against our bodies. We are so used to somebody... Sitting there going, you have to do this now, now, here, there, everything. The control. Mm -hmm. Constant control. From the time that we're children, you have to eat now. You have to sit now. You have to do this now. And that constant under, that stress, that pressure. Mm -hmm. Continuously. Yeah, and that's when you got to break that shit. Uh You got to cut that shit out. Break that. Yeah. Break those family curses, generational curses. Absolutely. Absolutely. And if that's a matter of developing your own business or whatever, he's over here pecking and I'm like, stop I that. I got my phone on my lap and, and I'm pecking the glass with my nail. So to find out, identify the problem and then you can find a solution. And it's not hard as far as, and our house we have these high beam you know, the LED lights. And that's because I have seasonal affective disorder. And the lack of light bothers me greatly. And so even as far as, you know, it would not harm anything about to start about 10 o'clock at night, turning the high beams down, mm-hmm. putting more ambient light, you know, here here in the living room and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, if it's bothering kid, I don't know. I think it's bothering everyone. You cannot have that harsh of light all the time. 
Especially well, like right before you go to bed. Like I said, low light levels um, for me during the winter, that's, you know, yeah. that, that's the whole thing with the light boxes, that it was blue light that is supposed to stimulate and help your brain and mm-hmm. different things like that. Yeah. You I know. mean, I do understand. I'm not saying anything about so, that. It's just like, like that's naturally, that's what humans are not we're not designed to be under electric light. No, we're not. And, and that was what, you know, Jimmy Aiken was talking about. Think about it. People back when they still, before electric light, they went to bed shortly after sundown, after they got finished t- telling stories and different things like that for an hour or two. They got bored. They went to sleep. Mm-hmm. Then they would sleep for about four hours. They would be up for an hour or two discussing different things or whatever. And then they would go back and and wake up somewhere around sunrise. Yeah. Very well. So different things that we have done to totally go against nature, our nature, nature in general. Yeah. That we need to fix. We need to fix. Yeah. Every bit of the God needs to fix it. It's up to him to fix that. Well, some of it, but enough so, people we have listen. choices. We have choices. That... To get to the point that people have, would be able to allow their bodies to actually function the way that they need to be functioned, or function the way they need to function, that would require a over... A overhauling of our current society. Well, yeah. Setup. Well, that's quite possible. That it is would quite require possible. Another. I don't know. Almost a renaissance, but like a. Like a prequel. I think it's a matter of awareness. Could be. I, I think that if we had, you know. A lot of people going, hey, yeah, no, I don't want to play this game anymore. Yeah. yeah. Or or let's let's see how we can play this game differently. Have new new forms of thought, new ways of doing things. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of lateral movement that could be done. They fucked with our sleep. They fucked with our money. They fucked with our lit housing. Food. Food. Don't that. They fucked with our food. You cannot tell me that is not a recipe for rebellion. Yeah, it is. It people is. going hungry, people homeless. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. Well, that and that's what, and and with kid because I, I'm very much aware that he has anxiety and depression issues. There is enough resources on this planet to help everybody. Yeah. But nobody is wanting to do shit, almost, at the well, same time. it's the ones that are the gatekeepers that prevent things from being done. And I did not mean to interrupt you. No, no, no. I was just going to say, that's one of the reasons that we don't cover some of those topics on here, is that it's just my, out of respect and concern for you. I mean, this is shit that, that, that upsets me greatly. Yeah. Like, I don't go on to your stuff, because it's just like, right. not my... Not my I feed, try to, yeah. But when it comes on to my feed, I can't help but pay attention. Well, it's like it's not like y'all are you, immune you to it. Like it's like God Himself said, like people die, people perish, or His people perish for lack of knowledge. Mm-hmm. And so it's not only His teachings, but it's situational awareness as well. Absolutely, we're supposed to be knowledgeable about many things. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, I mean, it wasn't like I expect people to have their head in the sand because if you got your head in, your, in the sand, then your ass is just hanging out there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you become cannon fodder. But some of, the, some of the subjects that's coming up right now, I know that they're upsetting to you. And, and to the state of the world is upsetting. Sure it is. Because there's 
even when I was younger, it seemed like even then it was better for grown-ups. Mm-hmm. It was easier for grown-ups. Sure. And today it's just so fucking overwhelming and complicated well, and mind-bending. Yeah. Because you've got a lot of people that have been deceived. Mind-bendy. And, and this is this is the problem. It's the ones that do understand what's going on. Screaming about the cliff. Because the other ones were just blindly heading right for it and pushing everybody else over. Because that's mm-hmm. what sheep do. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I pray to God that there's still time. I don't know. You know, but it's and and these types of things. Is it hard to sleep with this knowledge? Yeah. Oh hell yeah. But that's where faith comes in. We can do what we can do with what we've got, and then let God be God. I mean, I, you know, as far as dimming the lights at ten o'clock and making a cup of chamomile tea prior to bedtime and stuff like that and not watching something upsetting or overstimulating or whatever uh, to that's part of the sleep hygiene to make sure that the house is not overly warm before we go to bed. Now I'm one of these if it's if it's uh, I have to have cool in the bedroom or I start you know yeah okay it wakes me up. I'm glad that I'm not the only one that can sleep well to lectures. I like... Jimmy Aiken said that he did that also. I like music. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Kinds of soothing music. Mm -hmm. He was talking about the weighted blankets. Yeah. Yeah. Those are... I want one. (laughs) Those are so cool. I would be willing to try it, but I have this thing. I'd be concerned it would be... It would feel almost claustrophobic. No, no, that's what a lot of people's concerns was, but that was, no, it's not. And it wasn't. Yeah, it's not that heavy. Yeah. Well, you can get certain weights or whatever, but. And those things are expensive. You can fling it off of you if you need to. Well, that's what, because a lot of times I wake up and I, I, I don't, I've had night terrors and shit from time to time since I was a small child. So I need to something that I can fling, if fling. need be. Hey, at least it's been a very long time since I have done any of the sleepwalking shit. Years. So that that's good. That's that's way good. Is is. So sleep, but kitty, it, at least kitty, kitty, <laughs> kitty. kitty. Take the time in. You want to tell that story? Yeah, okay. I was where I woke up in the middle of the. I was working at the Sleep jail walk. at that point. Sleep. And, and I'm sure that it did have to do with um, sleep deficit and everything because I would only do the sleepwalking thing if I was sorely lacking sleep. Mm-hmm. It will do that. It will do that. <clears throat> so I was working down at the jail at the time, and when I when I came to myself. I was standing in the middle of the living room screaming, Kitty, Kitty, because I had, in the nightmare, something had gotten after he who. Uh huh. It did. It did spook you. I was not there for that. No, I'm glad that you weren't. And, and it's always a very weird experience when you wake up from a sleepwalking event. Uh huh. I bet it is. I never experienced sleepwalking, <laughs> so I don't know. It's, it's just like, ooh. I've Ooh. watched people sleepwalk. There's like a Selena Spooky Boo or something like that mm-hmm. on a TikTok. Yeah, she sleeps sleepwalks. She hasn't yeah. posted like modern sleepwalking videos in a while, but oh, they're yeah. entertaining. Well, it is. A, but she's ran out of the house like, before. Yeah, that though those are the things that's spooky. Mm-hmm. That the part of the brain that's supposed to prevent movement that she's sort of causes the, the paralysis naked. she's what she's running out of the house butt ass naked before oh god love her that's dangerous in a yeah. lot of ways i mean somebody not know that she's asleep or anything like that that's mm-hmm. looks like she Pretty would scary. have some kind of an alarm 
on her doors that would wake her up if she did that. Well, her husband's usually good about getting her, you know, he wakes up every single time she has an episode or something. Yeah, so but that puts a lot of stress on him because I know, you know, he's thinking, oh God, what if I'm asleep, asleep and she gets up and I don't know it. Yeah. Yeah. Been there, done that. And it's, that's, you never sleep and you never rest. Well, she knows what triggers her sleep walking. So it's mm-hmm. like, she doesn't, she tries to avoid those things. That's like cheese. That's one of her triggers. Interesting. She eats cheese before she Is goes it a to specific bed. type of cheese? Yes. Yeah. Certain types of cheese. Is it like a sharp cheddar or I something like that? I think so. Yeah. It that's most like, interesting. Yeah. So it's that that would never be heard about that before. That would be great to have be able to study things like that to sit there and go, hmm, wonder what if. Yeah, yeah. And to have her in a laboratory setting where she would be safe and you could just observe the behavior of different foods. Have her like a test hamster. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, some of these things, you know, they've got this. I'm sure they've got the cameras set up there in their house and, and stuff. I don't know that she would necessarily have to go to a laboratory. They're doing some of the sleep study things from home now. Cool. How are they doing that? I'm not sure. But, you know, where I had to go uh, into the sleep center and had, because they've got the whole electrodes and all that bunch of stuff and they watch you, which is freaky. Now, how the hell are you supposed to sleep normally when you're doing a sleep study? I don't think you can. And and that's like I told them, I said, even at the time, I said, I wake up in the night. I said, y'all going to have to let me be able to go outside, get a cigarette, and then I'll come back in. Mm-hmm. And they didn't quite get in there in time to, I, I don't know, there was some kind of communication snafu on that. And when you've got the electrodes on your legs and stuff like that, and you can't get up and move like you need to, because they've got to unhook you from all this stuff. And so I'm, I'm just, I, by that point, I'm just like, yeah, I'm done. And I just came home. (laughs) You know? Yeah. That was rough. Yeah. Yeah. It it wasn't fun and trying to sleep away from home and in a strange environment so if somebody if they send somebody home with the electrodes and they can do that they're probably going to get a more accurate reading in a lot of ways probably yeah yeah so for those who will actually attach the electrodes it's not hard no i got that little paste stuff it's not you know it's not hard it's a thing and they come off easily yeah i'm sure they do <clears throat> so, I don't know. I've never done it. So it's like, mm, I don't know. Well, your brother was supposed Unfamiliar. to participate and he he didn't. I don't know why. He just didn't. He's non-compliant on a lot of stuff that would help him. Hmm. I guess non-compliance runs in the family. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Obsessional divine <laughs> disorder. <laughs> so, final thoughts about uh, sleep. Listen, they can say what they want. <sighs> But you cannot tell me that we do not go somewhere else. Like, our consciousness does not go into another world of some sort. It goes somewhere. It goes somewhere. I don't think that it's all just the brain creating a entertainment for us. I really don't. No. No, it's not. So then what is it? Nobody knows yet. They don't know how to know what it is. And like a lot of things. Are we that in they, the Matrix? Uh, well, there's a lot of people that suspect we're in the Matrix. Or the Sims. How did or we something. break that Matrix? I don't know. I don't know. We need to break that Matrix. Well, break that's, it wide open. That's for another cup. That's a question for another cup. So that's your final thoughts. Break the Matrix. Yeah. Break yeah. it open. Yeah. Our so, universe is going to have holes getting thrown into it. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> Talks about the sky rolling up like a, like a scroll, so you're like, hmm, hmm, what exactly does that mean? Damn, it's rolling up. Uh, yeah. Interesting times. Most yeah. interesting times. 
He's looking at me like he's got more questions. What? It's kind of like, okay, so have you ever seen like a photo booth room type dealio? Like they have the fabric or it's like this paper over top and then okay. the wall comes down and it's smooth onto the floor. So it's like you can't really see like where the wall meets the floor. No, I'm not stuff familiar with that. But... With the paper. What? what if the sky is like that and it just... There was a movie one time, and it's where these people were actually inside of a like those photo space booths. spaceship, and somebody had climbed the mountain and touched the sky. So there was all kinds of theories. We are in one giant sky box. We don't know. We don't know. And some for sometimes instead of pondering this in the wee hours of the morning, which I do that. Do you know the way to Myrtle Beach? <sighs> yes, yes, I do. <laughs> That was the Dark City reference there. <laughs> Only it was Shell Beach, wasn't it? Yeah. You know the way to Shell Beach. So. Do you know the way to Shell Beach? Yeah. And nobody, it's like, I actually do. Mm-hmm. So we're, uh, we're doing better than that. If you've had experiences with the paranormal or supernatural encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, you can send us an email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. Uh, the email address is there in the description box. I will put the uh, link to the Jimmy Aikens sleep show. He's got so many good things. Mm-hmm. And if Kid can get it, I'll put the TikTok uh, address or whatever they call it to to the young woman that he was talking I about. Don't, I don't know where my phone is. Hold on. Give it's me a okay. second. Sarah James. We'll Look up Sarah James sh- on on TikTok. I think mm-hmm. her actual at is under the Capricorn Sun. Well, I'll put it. I'll put it in the in the description box. So. Yeah. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment. Most of all, subscribe. Click that notification button for daily notifications, daily uploads. That notification button doesn't do much, but it, it, it appreciates the affection. Thank you all. Have a good. Know that you're loved. Mm-hmm. Treat others the way that you would like to be treated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, put that in there too. Yes. And Lord willing, we'll see you on the next cut. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye. Bye.